Video surveillance based on digital IP technology is revolutionizing the physical security industry. The key factors required to ensure a successful surveillance network are adequate bandwidth. The network and the switches that control it must be able to move traffic at full speed line rate to avoid risking delays, poor camera control, or even data loss. Resilience. The network switches must have access to an alternate power supply should the main source of power fail. And security. The network must be protected from hacking, including physical hacking. No matter what the size of an IP surveillance system, it will always include one or more of the following components. IP cameras, video servers, clients or monitoring stations, NAS devices, switches, and cabling. There are two basic transmission modes, unicast and multicast. Most cameras can be set to transmit in either mode. Most IP surveillance networks combine these two modes, using unicast to transmit from the cameras to the video server and multicast to transmit to the clients. The surveillance requirements, area to be surveilled, level of detail to be captured, need or lack thereof for pan, tilt, zoom cameras and so on, will determine the number and type of cameras, which will in turn determine the bandwidth and power requirements for the switches. Netgear recommends two lines of managed switches for IP surveillance networks. The Netgear Intelligent Edge 4100 series switches are fast Ethernet and Gigabit Ethernet access layer switches with several Gigabit ports for uplink functions. The Netgear NextGen Edge M5300 series switches are Gigabit Ethernet switches with embedded 10 Gigabit ports for uplink functions and virtual chassis stacking. Determining which switch within these two families requires answering four questions. Will the network use fast Ethernet cameras or Gigabit Ethernet cameras? What is the average bandwidth required per camera? How many cameras will be in the network? And what is the total bandwidth required per switch? Most IP cameras are designed to accept power over Ethernet. To determine which switch in the M4100 or M5300 family is required for a particular installation, ask the following questions. Do the cameras require PoE or PoE Plus? How many watts are required per camera? How many cameras will be on the network? And what is the total wattage requirement? This reference design will provide general guidance on how to plan a highly reliable and cost-effective surveillance network. This 200 camera installation would be typical for a facility where cameras must be located in multiple locations, a warehouse, a parking lot, administrative offices, and so on. It consists of several IP subnets and associated VLANs, but without Layer 3 routing complexities. This design also delivers a highly available network that provides uninterrupted connectivity. It incorporates a level of redundancy such that there are no points of hardware failure. Further, critical components can be swapped without interruption of service. The benefits of this design include the following. Simplicity. The private VLAN capability of the Netgear switches in this design means that camera deployment is inherently less complicated when the cameras are all in the same Layer 2 network. The network is also easier to manage without Layer 3 routing to the servers. This design also avoids the use of the spanning tree protocol, which is complex and difficult to configure. The network allows for the best of both worlds with redundant links to the servers and access layer switches, as well as advanced load balancing and seamless failover capabilities, made as simple as trunking. A multicast VLAN registration, or MVR, feature replicates the multicast video streams from the access subnet across as many other subnets as desired, preserving all of the bandwidth conserving features of the access subnet. Second, minimum bandwidth impact. The private VLAN capability means that all the cameras are isolated, eliminating camera-to-camera -camera chatter. To minimize bandwidth consumption, an IGMP querier that determines which clients belong to various groups combines with an IGMP snooper that determines which ports within these groups are interested. The result is that data is sent only to the appropriate ports, eliminating unnecessary network traffic and maximizing efficiency. The avoidance of the spanning tree protocol also enables more efficient use of bandwidth, since all links are active and load balancing is enabled. Third, resilience. In this design, the switches are all equipped with redundant power supplies in the unlikely event that a switch power supply should fail. And fourth, security. This design offers multiple levels of security, including port-based, access control lists, and radius. 
and Netgear switches support math authentication bypass for non-radius aware endpoints. Netgear has the only solution with a fully functional interface along with an industry standard command line interface. Let's discover how to configure the switches with an example of multicasting IGMP protocol using both CLI and GUI. Configure the VLANs 100 and 101 as private VLANs and configure VLAN 200 on all switches in the surveillance network. In the VLAN database, we are creating VLAN 100 for the servers, VLAN 101 for the cameras, and VLAN 200 for the clients across the network. We are going to enable private VLAN functionality across the entire Layer 2 network in order to reduce the broadcast domain and ensure each camera can only communicate with servers in one-to-one -one mode. VLAN 100 will be the primary VLAN, with secondary VLAN 101 for camera, isolated VLAN, and VLAN 200 for clients, community VLAN. Configure the IGMP querier for primary VLAN 100 and enable the fast leave feature for clients who subscribe to the multicast source content. Now here is an example of how to configure the switches for multicasting IGMP protocol with the fully functional, easy to use GUI interface. VLAN 100 will be the primary VLAN with secondary VLAN 101 for camera, isolated, and VLAN 200 for client, community. Choose Switching, VLAN, Advanced, VLAN Configuration. Enter each VLAN ID, its name, and click Add to add the VLAN to the configuration. Choose Security, Traffic Control, Private VLAN, and Private VLAN Type Configuration. Assign the appropriate VLAN type to each VLAN ID. Click Apply after each entry. By default, unconfigured VLANs are Community VLANs. Choose Security, Traffic Control, Private VLAN, Private VLAN Association Configuration. Set VLAN 100 as the primary VLAN and 101 and 102 as the secondary VLANs and click Apply. Choose Switching, Multicast, IGMP Snooping, and IGMP VLAN Configuration. Enable Admin Mode and Fast Leave Admin Mode on VLAN 100 and click Apply. Netgear Managed Switches offer a secure, future-proof networking infrastructure for mid-size organizations and campus networks. But why Netgear? Competitors like HP and Cisco focus on enterprise and data centers, fighting against Brocade, Arista, Force 10, IBM Blade, and Juniper. When it comes to mid-size organizations, they have to repurpose and dumb down the solutions to meet the price demands while justifying them. And, in spite of a significantly reduced feature set, they are still quite expensive and complex to deploy and maintain. We at Netgear provide better value by building our offerings from the ground up and not the top down, so that by adding new features we are reaching up to new companies and not worried about protecting any enterprise business reaching down to smaller markets. We continually strive to simplify the management of our solutions, in addition to a real industry standard CLI, all our managed switches come with a fully functional web management interface, not just a dashboard, which makes us easier to use and more attractive to SMB and distributed branch enterprise companies. Last but not least, we systematically lower the overall acquisition and lifecycle costs with things like 10 gigabit built-in uplinks and industry-leading lifetime warranties and technical support. For more detailed information, visit netgear.com and download the Networking Solutions IP Surveillance Guide and the detailed application note, or call a Netgear representative.